what's going on youtube welcome back to side hustle gigs and in this video we're gonna make a quick uber eats tutorial video how to do deliveries for uber eats okay so if you watch this entire video i'm gonna show you from start to finish on what you need to do as far as getting deliveries for uber eats and picking the order up verifying the order and then dropping the order off once you get to the destination all right before i get into the video make sure you like and subscribe to the channel maybe like this video if you find any type of value with it and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can see more uh ride share videos uh to help you guys out as far as you know if you're a beginner with uber eats or whatever ride share that i'm doing if you're a beginner with it and i try to show you tips and tricks on it so uh today like i said we're doing uber eats now before we get into it if you're on the app okay you want to open the app and at the bottom here you'll see this thing pop up down here or like you'll see this you know if you click on the bottom where it says you're offline if you click there then you'll see everything pop up but below that if you look at the bottom left there's going to be like two lines with circles on them if you will right and you want to click right there now right now i have the uber x turned on and i have deliveries okay so if you just wanted to do uber eats then you have to turn the uber x off so you don't get rides as far as picking up people and taking them to wherever they need to go all right if you just want to do uber eats then you want to just turn off the uber x and then keep on deliveries okay and if you want to add more services you click on see more and then there'll be more services that'll pop up that you can actually do you can deliver alcohol you can do uber direct you know you can uh, deliver business items for different businesses of course we got food delivery and you have packages like amazon packages that you could deliver as well you have shop and deliver and insulated pizza bags if you wanted to deliver pizza okay so <clears throat> that's how you change those up and make sure you have it uh you know just set to deliveries once you have it set to deliveries guys you just want to come back to where you were before okay and you want to click on go okay you want to click on go and we're going to wait for the first order to pop up all right now when you are when you turn on the uber app okay when you turn it on you want to try just like doordash to go to an area where there is high demand okay now usually you can see that when you click on a restaurant usually they share or show that is high it's, it's going to be high demand there okay or it'll turn red you know in a, in a certain area if there's big demand just like if it was a regular uber eats i mean if it was a regular uber you know it'll show red in the area where there's a lot of demand all right so as you can see we got an order right here okay this is for chick-fil-a it's for nine dollars and 43 cents okay 25 minutes 9.5 miles it's not bad at all so we're gonna go ahead and do that one gonna go ahead and accept it and the next thing we're gonna do is go to the restaurant all right so I'm on my way to the restaurant right now okay and hopefully once I get there I can just uh, the food will already be ready and I can you know just pick it up and go on about my business right so if I click on the bottom here okay here's here's uh who the person is for right here okay let me see if i will have to take a picture to verify the order okay boom so usually sometimes when you get to a restaurant you know you have to verify the order by taking a picture of the order right uh but in some cases you don't have to do that all right you all you have to do is just you know verify the order make sure make sure everything is on the order so for this one it's you know uh, grilled chicken club meal and chick-fil-a nuggets all right so once i get to the store i want to make sure that all of that stuff is there uh you know make sure like if a, if a customer sends you sends you a message as far as something else that they may want you may want to get that for them um you know you just want to be efficient you want to be efficient and make sure you know the, you have the least amount of problems that you can have when you're doing deliveries all right so we're almost here at the store you know look this is a live trip guys so i'm trying to talk to you and give you tips and things while i get to the store i don't want to be rushing and going crazy you know what i'm saying but uh yeah so i'm on, I'm, I'm rolling into the store right now 
and I'm gonna be walking in to get the order and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do all right now remember like I said if you have when you're waiting for orders you want to wait in the most popular area where there's more where there's a lot of demand okay that's where you want to wait so make sure you do that and make sure you go either in the mornings early in the mornings or at night you know when it's you know an evening time people want dinner things like that okay so we pulled up to the store all right uh please wait to pick up we'll notify you when the order is ready so the order isn't ready yet all right so the app will actually let me know when the order is ready but i can also go in and just check to make you know to make it you know make them move faster if you will if they know that i'm here to pick up an order then it may move a little faster so let's let's try to do that i'm gonna go into the store right now here we go Hello. How you doing? What's the name on the order? Yammy. Yammy? Mm -hmm. We got Mammy here too. Or EC, whenever he comes out, he keeps the brother. Right. We got I Okay. What's the name on the order? Y'all said he picked with Jake on. Yes. So we're in the store right now. Just waiting. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit. Okay. Have a great one. Now, while you wait, sometimes other orders may pop up. So at those times, you can accept those orders and have two orders with you. Or if you don't want to do that, then you can just, uh, you know, decline that order and just stay on your current order. All right. But um, when you're at the store, you don't want to wait more than 10 to 15 minutes, right? Because remember, I mean, look, time is money. Okay, you want to try to make the most money that you can. Um, and you don't want to be waiting for a long time. So I'd say give it at least around 10 to 15 minutes on orders. And once, you know, that time passes up, then try to go after another delivery. That's just my take. That's just what I feel. So, I mean, you can wait as long as you want, but it just becomes a little discouraging when you're waiting for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and your order isn't ready, <laughs> right? So just watch out for that and um, just be, you know, just mindful of that. Just be mindful of that. You know, don't wait for a long time. Okay, so currently we're still waiting for the order. Okay. Now, if there is any issues with the order, as you can see, there's issue with order. I could click there. This is where you can chat with support. You can choose what the issue is as far as, you know, why you're waiting, whether it be excessive wait time, someone else picked up the order, you can't find the restaurant, can't find parking, restaurant closed, or other, you know, options that you have here. So you just want to choose the right one if any of these, you know, uh, pops up for you. If it's not listed, you see that's at the bottom, not listed. So you can choose that if you'd like as well. All right. So we're going to go back. Still holding tight. Order should be coming up any minute. Also, for help and support, there's an option for trip support so you can click there same thing okay same thing so unfortunately <laughs> it's not as quick as i wanted it to be you know um oh here we go okay so order is ready mammy's order is so i could have waited in the car and had this pop up for me but as you can see the app will let you That's know right here, when the order is ready. So take that. I'm gonna go and verify. And complete. All there right. You Appreciate you. Thank My you. pleasure. All right. All right, guys. So we went on ahead and verified. It took a little longer than expected. And one thing that might happen while you're in stores and you know doing uh, Uber Eats is you'll get to the store and you'll have other Uber Eats drivers or DoorDash drivers come in. 
and they'll get their orders before you and all of this and it, 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 it sometimes does get a little discouraging but whatever sometimes you just might pop up a little earlier so that was good to see um you guys saw that as far as like you know got into the store and then it popped up as far as like hey the order is ready you know so you can actually i could have waited in my car you know if i wanted to but like i said sometimes i'll go in and them knowing that i'm there to pick up the order they will you know maybe work a little faster but like i said don't wait more than 10 minutes in stores when you're waiting for deliveries all right because like i said time is money and if it ain't worth the money then it ain't worth the time all right so now what we doing now we're gonna get this order to the customer all right and from what i see once we get there uh it says please come to my front door ring doorbell and leave on the front porch so it says drop off type meet at door all right now sometimes they'll say meet at door you know and then you'll actually have to meet the person at the door but if you read the note from the customer it says please come to my front door ring doorbell and leave in chair on front door okay so boom so once i get there all i have to do is click on confirm delivery okay and then and then slide this over where it says complete delivery okay that's all i have to do that's all i'm going to do next all right i don't really have to show you guys much more as far as getting to the customer's home you know but that's basically what i'm doing like i don't want to keep you guys on here for 14 minutes all right i'm not going to do that i just wanted to show you guys as far as like getting the delivery or getting a, a, a order accepting it where to find a couple of things as you can see i got like i said 13 minutes to drive so i'm not going to keep you guys on this uh on, on this video for that long but i'm going to tell you what i'm going to do once i get there like i said once i get there reading the reading the instructions you know i'm gonna do everything she told me and then i'm gonna click on i'm gonna slide this over complete delivery okay and that's all you got to do guys for if you're gonna if you're just gonna do uber eats if you just want to do uber eats and you don't want to pick up uh customers to you know have them in your car and you take them wherever they need to go you can do uber eats okay and this is how you complete deliveries all right now like i said try to be as efficient as possible don't wait for orders more than 10 minutes and uh, uh 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 make sure you go at the best times to go which is usually in the mornings or in the afternoons weekends friday nights saturdays sundays in the evenings in the mornings great times to go okay so if you're looking to make the most money with uber eats hopefully this video helped out as far as how to get deliveries done when to go how to use the app and just you know giving you some good navigational uh you know tips and, and information all right so hopefully this helped out about to go ahead and get this order delivered and uh finish up the steps and uh you can come back and refer to this video again if you know if 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 you if you've gotten confused remember once you get to the delivery spot you just want to click on confirm order and then you want to click you know slide this over for complete delivery all right and then your money will go straight to your instant pay card or if you're waiting to get paid every two weeks then it'll go straight you'll be right there on the app you'll be able to see the money that you made okay so thanks for watching and uh, hopefully this helped for any uber eats drivers out there or beginners people just getting started hopefully this helped you out and hopefully uh you know you can get out here and make the most money that you can all right this is side hustle gigs sharing ways that you can make money part-time full-time uh in your spare time or any time okay so subscribe to the channel so you can get more content on different ways of earning income uh at your leisure or when you can all right so thanks for watching malik ray signing out side hustle gigs see you guys on the next video peace out